Casey, welcome to Colorado. Thank you. Uh, how do you feel about coming to this team? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, it's a bit of a whirlwind, and uh, but I'm, I'm extremely excited. I think uh, to see what they've done and, and what it looks like we could do together. I think um, the thought of that is, is extremely exciting, and um, yeah, I'm definitely uh, pumped to be here. You don't often see business like this happen around the deadline. Young players like yourself and Bowen Byron getting traded just kind of for the last 24 hours. Been like, really you know, this was going to all kind of shake out. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've I've heard my name in some rumors. I don't think it was it was too crazy. Easy. Uh, lay down, take a nap, and get ready for the game. And got a call from from Kevin Adams, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. So uh, yeah, like I said, it was a bit of a crazy day trying to get home and, and get some stuff and, and get here. But uh, now that I'm here, I'm, I'm excited to get settled and, and play some hockey. What were your first thoughts when you knew it was Colorado? Yeah, I mean, I was I was obviously excited. I think uh, you see the guys on the roster, and um, obviously we only play them twice a year, but. Uh, I mean, they're such a fast team and an extremely hard team to play against. And, um, yeah, and my first thought was definitely uh, excited. What's been the, uh, kind of the biggest difference for you the past two seasons from earlier in your initial career? Um, yeah, I think just maybe some experience and, and growing up a little bit. And, um, yeah, I think that's probably honestly the main thing. I think, um, you know, learning new things and, and learning how to implement them into the game. And, um, you know, for me, I think a lot of it was, was experience, though, and, and just learning. And, and maybe it took a little longer than, than I would have liked, but, um, you know, I'm happy with the way it went. Did you get to figure out Johnson's grade about what to expect from this group? <laughs> Yeah, I talked to him for a while yesterday. Uh, I'll probably go home and talk to him again today, see what he's got for me. Um, but, you know, he just filled me in, told me about the staff, some of the players. Um, you know, EJ was great for us in Buffalo, I think, um, especially with just a veteran voice, and, and everyone has, has a ton of respect for him in that locker room. And, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited that, that I, have, I have him I can call if I ever need him. Thoughts on getting to play alongside a guy like Nathan McKinnon? Yeah, crazy. Honestly, crazy. Uh, a little crazy right now. I think uh, I'm mostly excited to, to play the first game and, and you know, kind of go out there and, and feel like a, a part of the team. And um, yeah, obviously he's, he's world class, right? Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty speechless about that. It'll be pretty fun. <laughs> this team has been searching for a second line center for quite a while. What do you think that you could bring to the top six to to fulfill that role? Yeah, I think you know. I think I'm, I bring maybe uh, a little more puck possession guy. I'm not much too much of a shooter, but uh, maybe more of a playmaker and get the pucks, the puck to the guys I'm playing with, and, and go from there. And um, yeah, I'm try to play my best and see what happens. What does this season, what this season like for you in Buffalo? I know there was like lots of expectation that the jump was going to happen, and then, and then for you personally, like there has been like sort of thing out there, like are they going to sign him long term? Is he going to move on? What, it seems like it's maybe been kind of a weird year. Yeah, I think in that sense, it's it's been a little weird, especially I think uh, we all had high expectations going into the year, and, including the players, and, um, you know, obviously it, it didn't work out like that, and um, I think that's probably part of the reason why my name was, was thrown around and um, the reason why I'm here, and, um, yeah, it's like I said, it was, it was probably a, a bit of a weird year in Buffalo, but... Um, a ton of respect for the guys in that room and um, some friendships that will last for my whole life, but um, I'm definitely excited for, for something new. Do you envision a contract extension potentially before the offseason, or is that an end-of-season thing that you would focus on? Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm. that's not really up to me. That's up to my agent and, and uh, the staff here, so um, I try to stay out of that stuff and, and just focus on, on playing hockey. What do you know about coming in to play for Coach Bednar? Yeah, I, I had a brief conversation with him. Uh, a few people I have reached out to me that know him, but um, honestly, not, not a whole lot yet. So uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll get caught up with him here shortly and and go from there. But uh, from what I can see from the outside, I think he uh, looks like a great coach, and I, I love the way the, the team plays. So um, definitely excited. I know it's obviously you haven't played a game yet, but how different do you think it's going to be to go from a team that looked like Maybe you weren't going to make the playoffs to a team that could play a Stanley Cup and expectations are a little bit higher. Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's definitely a different situation and kind of a, a quick change with, with how fast everything happens. But, um, you know, it's, it's what you dream about as a kid for your whole life. So um, I don't think it should be too hard of a change. And obviously I'm going to go out there and lay it on the line with you guys. You didn't get a chance to skate today, but will you be ready to go for tomorrow, you think, to play? 
Yeah, I think so. Um, I have, obviously have to talk to some people, but I, I think that was the plan originally. So, um, yeah, I would love to play tomorrow and, and get the first one.